Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing good today and welcome to the today's video. So on today's video, we will be talking about something on ML Ops. So ML Ops is getting popular day by day. So a lot of applications are built on top of this particular uh, the ML and AI algorithms. So you should know what is ML Ops. So as a, being as a DevOps engineer, you want to move towards an ML Ops, you should know certain things actually. So you have to understand what is ML Ops and what are the tools they are going to use and how you can enhance your uh, ML Ops the career and over there as a DevOps engineer and what are the things that you have to learn and all those things we will be discussing about. So we have categorized this particular video in three sections. So first we will discuss about what is ML Ops and second how to start as a DevOps engineer and number three and what there are certain popular tools and you should know about it actually. So without wasting any time just get into the video. So first you have to understand what is ML Ops. So ML Ops it stands for machine learning operation. So it is a set of practice that combines machine learning and DevOps to automate the end to end machine learning life cycles. Okay from data preparation to model deployment and monitoring. So in MLOps, we say everything as a model. We deploy a model, okay, not a code. So it's a predictive model or it can be analysis model, whatever it may be. So basically we say as a model. So goals of MLOps is it make it easier and faster to deploy and maintain the machine learning models in the production. So, so this is done by automating the following task. The first one, which is known as data preparation. So this includes a task such as data cleaning, featuring, I mean to say feature engineering and model training. So number two is all about model deployment. So this includes a task such as packaging the models, deploying it to the production and monitoring it, the performance, basically monitoring its performance. And three is all about model monitoring. So this includes the task such as tackling the model accuracy, identifying any changes in the data, that could affect the model's performance, retaining the model as needed. So these are all the goals of MLOps. MLOps can help organization to improve the speed, reliability and security of their machine learning projects. So it can also help to reduce the cost of machine learning by automating the manual task and make it easier to scale the machine learning models. So here are some benefits of uh, MLOps. So it increases the speed. Basically, uh, MLOps can help to speed up the machine learning lifecycle by automating a task such as data preparations, model deployment, and all those things. So improved reliability. MLOps can help to improve the reliability of the machine learning models by automating tasks such as model monitoring and retraining, actually. So reduce the cost. MLOps can help to reduce the cost of machine learning by automating manual tasks and make it easier to scale machine learning models at anywhere. So we are at second section of the video. So it's all about how to start as a DevOps engineer. So as a DevOps engineer, you have a strong foundation on software development and operations. So this is a great start for the, the career in ML Ops. To become an ML Ops engineer, you need to learn certain skills. So what are all those? The first is all about machine learning. So you need to have a strong understanding on the machine learning concepts such as uh, the techniques as well as like um, the supervised, unsupervised learnings and neural networks and deep learning and all those things. So you need to have these uh, knowledge on uh, the machine learning space. Number two is all about DevOps. You need to have a strong understanding on the DevOps principles and practice such as CI/CD, the continuous integration and continuous delivery, infra as a code and containerization. The three is all about cloud computing. So you need to have a strong understanding on the cloud computing base, basically like AWS, Azure, Google Cloud platforms. And inside these, the public providers, we do have certain uh, the concepts in the clouding, cloud, cloud computing space, basically like uh, VPC, uh, VM, uh, the, what are all say, like we have uh, the object storage devices, EBS and all those things. Fourth is all about data engineering. Earlier, it was a data analyst. So you need to have uh, skills to collect, clean, and prepare data for the machine learning models. Fifth is all about software engineering. You need to have a skills to develop and deploy the machine learning models in productions. Basically, like how do you deploy? That's the matter. So these are all the things that you have to practice as a DevOps engineer and you want to become a MLOps. So you have to come across all these points and you have to make sure that have a knowledge on all the five points. 
So we are here at the third section of the video. It's all about the popular tools to practice ML Ops. So what are all those? The first one is all about ML Flow. ML Flow is an open source platform that helps to manage the machine learning lifecycle. So it can be used to track, experiment, manage models and deploy models to the productions. And another one is all about the Kubeflow. Kubeflow is a Kubernetes native platform for machine learning. It's exclusive for the machine learning. It can be used to build, train, deploy, and scale machine learning models at any point of time. DVC. DVC is a data versioning control systems that helps to track and manage data used in machine learning projects. Argo. Argo is an a workflow automation tool uh, that can be used to automate the machine learning uh, pipelines. Uh, the fourth one is the last one is all about Tekton is a Kubernetes native continuous integration and uh, delivery uh, CI CD platform that can be used to automate the machine learning pipelines. So these are all the tools I have just limited with only the five. Uh, there are a lot of tools and a lot of things are there to learn. You can check out an internet so that you will have a deep understanding about what is the MLOps and what are the MLOps tools that we use in the, the real time. So I hope you might have enjoyed this particular video. Thank you so much and we'll see you on another good video.